Hey guys, welcome to my channel, it's Carolyn, and today's video is going to be a zodiac reading for your career. And the way that I do my zodiac readings is that these are timeless readings, so whenever you find them is when it's meant for you. Since today's reading is focused on your career, you can pick either your sun, moon, rising, Jupiter, or seventh house zodiac sign. So whichever one of those zodiacs resonates for you, I would go ahead and watch that. I'm gonna have all the zodiacs uploaded on my YouTube page. Sometimes you have multiple different messages that are meant for you, so I would recommend and checking them all out. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I upload four videos a week and would love to have you a part of the family, so hit subscribe if you haven't already. And with that being said, let's jump right in and get into the Capricorn reading. So I feel like recently you have been doing things half-assed. I feel like you haven't been fully committed to them and I feel like you are waking up to that. I think you realize like, hey, I'm doing a really shitty job right now. I'm not putting in the effort I need to. With the high priestess reversed, I feel like something with your career is blocked right now and you understand that. I feel like you're becoming aware of that. And with that two of cups, I feel like this could be someone coming into your life that kind of called you out. That kind of gave you a wake-up call or they are going to give you a wake-up call where they're not letting you get away with this shit. They are really being hard on you because they want what's best for you and I feel like this could also be your inner voice too where you're realizing hey you get to take control of your life this limbo of letting things just slip by you you don't need to do that anymore because you have the drive within you and so I feel like whatever you have been slacking on you are going back and you are making up for that you are going to do it so much better and you are actually going to put in the effort it needs to to be its best to make you feel proud of the work you're putting off and that in return is going to reflect in your career and you are going to have more opportunities come to you. I feel like you're walking away from any of these negative cycles you've been trapped in where you've been allowing yourself to think that you don't need to do things that it's not worth trying and you've been falling into this almost victim mentality. You're waking up to that. You're walking away from it and you are actually taking back control of your life and you're manifesting what you want. I feel like with your career, you're going to have a lot of new opportunities and I feel like there's going to be a big chance for communication for you where you're either going to be presenting something through a speaking project or you're going to have to convey your point to someone. But no matter what, I feel like your words are going to help propel your career in the direction you need it to. So if you want to get something, make sure that you use your voice, that you stand up for yourself and you actually say what you want, that you use your words to prove why you're worthy of this, why you should get this new opportunity. Why do you do things? What's the, mo what's the motivation for your career? What is your goal? Once you find those answers and you actually take control about what you want, you're going to have a lot more opportunities come your way because you're going to have your mission statement for who you are for what you want to do I really feel like this is the time where you are realizing that you've been slacking and now you're realizing why you don't want to slack why you actually appreciate your job or your career and if you're currently not happy with what you're doing you're going to realize that and you're going to communicate that and you are going to quit your job and actually go and pursue something that you want to do because again you are cutting ties of anything that's negative of anything that's holding you back and you are allowing the new opportunities to come and to help you and you are going to get a lot of new opportunities because once you let go of the things that are keeping you out of balance, you are going to be able to attract and manifest things so quickly, especially with that Capricorn energy, because you have that willpower and strength and determination within you. You are not going to let go. And so I definitely feel like there's going to be a lot of growth and a lot of money coming in with your career. And especially if things have been slow now, if they're not working out, you're going to realize what's been holding you back and you are going to go and get what you want. So definitely pay attention to the words that you say, the thoughts that you have, and make sure that you are letting go of any negative cycles. So I hope this resonates for you guys. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with others. I post four videos a week and I would love to have you a part of this family. So hit subscribe if you haven't already and turn on that bell notification so you see when I upload my next Zodiac reading. I'll see you all in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.